Thanks a lot for being here with us. We really appreciate it. Well, I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to talk. And I feel good about the victory, even though it was our last game. We played good, we fought our heart, we just came out to play. Uh, Victor, you have now a five games winning in a row, and now you have, you have to wait a miracle for you to go to the playoffs. If, if that happened, what is going to be the strategy when you go to the playoffs if that happened? Well, if that happens, we're just going to keep playing how we're playing. Play as a team, get everybody involved. And just have fun when we play. We just gotta wait two games, see if we make it to the playoff. If not, then we come back next year with the same players and come out how we just finished, come out strong next year when the season starts. Bien, le preguntamos que ya ellos tienen cinco victorias en forma consecutiva y que ganaron los partidos que tienen que ganar. Ahora un milagro depende para que ellos eh, puedan ir a los playoffs. Dependiendo del resultado de Mauricio Vázquez, nos dice que van a seguir jugando con la misma intensidad que han salido a jugar si logran clasificar a los playoffs pero que ya ellos hicieron su parte y solo como había dicho anteriormente les espera un milagro Victor it has been a long road for huellas del siglo nonetheless you have five straight wins five straight wins really a really really good uh, a really good a, a really good time for the tournament so to us what has happened in this last five games which you have played so so good well, we just came out and played basketball the five games. We just kept playing, even though, I don't know how to explain, even though we just came out and played fun, even though it was five games. If we would have won six, we would have had a chance to make it to the playoff, but I just want to thank Baker and the team, Way to get for giving me the opportunity to play with them. And hopefully I'll be here next year and just play, and hopefully we make it to the playoff. That's it. Victor, everybody talk, talks about about Chris Moore, Tyrus Way, but you have done a really great job, you, Ricardo Catala, among other guys. What have been the main focus for you to play this good in this in this last five or six games? Well, like you just said, we got Chris, T. Wade, those are the two enforcements. They're going to come out every game and play. Then you have High Zone, you have Henry, you got Mauer, me, you got kids that come off the bench and is ready to play. And I don't even know how to explain it, but... <laughs> Le preguntamos cuál ha sido el, el, el foco principal para estas cinco victorias, en donde muy especialmente se ha hablado de un Chris Moore y un Tyrus Wade, pero que también el caso de él, Ricardo Catala y otros muchachos han hecho una labor extraordinaria. Y nos dicen que ellos simplemente vienen a jugar basquetbol, simplemente vienen a jugar baloncesto, que las cosas se han dado bien, gracias, gracias a Dios, y que... Él espera volver la temporada que viene a jugar en este torneo. Victor, what is mean? What it means playing in the in a tournament like this? And if soon uh, the NLB, the National Basketball League, is coming soon, is there any chance that we might see you again in a team in the bas in National Basketball League? Well, this is my first year playing Superior Boya. I played with them Su 25. And I got drafted in 2014 by the Leones, third round, first pick. So I'm just going to wait for my opportunity in June, see if I play with the Leones or somebody else picks me up to see if I can play in the LNB. We just got to wait. That's about it. Bien, le preguntamos qué ha sido su experiencia, qué tal ha sido su experiencia de jugar aquí en el torneo superior y que si pronto lo vamos a ver en el torneo de, balonce de la Liga Nacional de Baloncesto. Eh, nos dice que ha jugado sub-25, eh, anteriormente y que fue drafteado por los Leones de Santo Domingo y espera su chance para jugar con los Leones de Santo Domingo en la próxima temporada de la Liga Nacional de Baloncesto. Victor, what is one last uh, one thing that you 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 need to to do to improve your game? What is that one thing that you have to improve? Well, I need to improve learning how to control myself, slow the game down, not playing up and down, fast pace. This is the first time I'm learning how to play point guard. I used to play the two in the university back home in the United States. So all I need to work on is being patient, controlling the game, know when to shoot, when not to pass, and look for my teammates and more. And just get the team to play basketball. That's all it's about. It's five players. Just get the ball involved, move the ball, get everybody when they're ready to shoot, and just have fun when you play. That's about it.
Le preguntamos qué él entiende que debe mejorar eh, en su juego y él nos dice que tiene que ser un poco más paciente, se, eh, tratar de ser un poco más paciente en el juego. A veces ha tenido problemas, muy especialmente cuando, cuando el juego sube su intensidad a nivel de rapidez. Eh, ese es el punto que él entiende que debe mejorar. Él sabe que este es, que este es un juego, es un 5 contra 5, pero ese es el punto más importante. Uh, finally, uh, a message that of a last message you want to send to the Wales de Silo fans who have supported the team from uh, the bad moments into the good moments like this. Well, I want to thank the fan Wales de Silo. We came out and we fought, we started off all right and we came out fighting, fighting strong, even though. We just got to win two more games, but we will be back next year with more wins and hopefully we make the playoff with Baker Lopez and see if we can bring the trophy back to Cristo Rey, where you're Celio. Victor, we want you to, to send a shout out to your loved ones, your family, the people that, that, that's been following, you, following your career. This is, this is the time for you to, to give some love to them. Well, I want to give a shout out to my sister. She's going to have a baby. My dad, I love him to death. My mom, my grandma's back home, so I want to wish them the best, and I'll be home soon. And I love you guys. Bien, le pedimos que enviara un saludo a todas aquellas personas que, eh, a todos sus seres queridos, a todas aqu aquellas personas que han seguido su carrera. Y él le manda un saludo muy especial a su hermana que va a tener un niño, a su mamá, a su padre, a todas aquellas personas que, que siempre lo ha querido y que eh, pronto estará en casa. Thanks a lot, Victor, for being here with us. Well, I want to thank you guys for the interview, and I appreciate it a lot.